Come on, girls. Hey, hey, hey. So last night I walked outside about 10 o'clock. It was pretty dark and I saw a black figure walking through the yard. It was that cow. She wandered up. She, I don't know how she got out, but she was looking for a calf, ended up out here. So we shoved her in there because she was right next to the gate. So we're gonna take her back out of that pen. Dad's gonna grab the four open heifers from the other day and take those to town. And then after that, we're gonna get combining. <laughs> Man, we could use the rain. All that dust ain't good for these freshly weaned calves. So yesterday's video, we were weaning these cattle. 95 head are in here. They're all bawling because they want milk. They want their mom. Part of life. Anyway, they got this water drinker here. And so it, this drinker's got to keep up with 40 Herefords on that side and 95 Black Angus calves on this side. And I really want them, especially with this dust, to be drinking as much water as they can. And so if they're fighting over it, that's not gonna help at all. I'm gonna throw this tank over here, put a float on it, and give them some more space, a little more room. Instead of one drinking at a time, they can fit about six. Makes you feel a little better. So dad's coming down the road. He's gonna meet me at the field and bring me home because we're gonna need to bring more machinery down the road. The oil was good, engine oil, but the hydraulic fluid was a little low. So we'll try to get some in before we start combining. I'm gonna start going to the field, harvesting some beans. See if the moisture's good. First time hopping in a bean field and seeing yield. I, uh, we're not too hopeful this year. They say August rains make beans. We didn't really get any August rains, so it's uh, probably not gonna be the greatest. <laughs> That's pretty good timing. Dad's coming right down the road. That's holding up well. All right, be good. Let's see if it'll go. Dad's not very confident. Says it looks a little wet. moisture sample was at ten and a half percent which is too low you need to get to the right paw and our second sample was eleven point two percent we're want we want it at about three or thirteen I mean so when we get to the end of the field there's actually uh we got a band at Storla station today and they're setting up right now so we're gonna head over and uh, hang out there a bit 
Yeah, I guess I'll give them the song of the day while uh, we're here. Here's one that maybe quite a few people haven't heard. It's called uh, Beds Are Burning by Midnight Oil. It's enjoyable. Take a listen. What's the setting to get the grasshoppers out of there? I don't know, but there's too many pods in the tank. We're gonna have to. They just ran through a thing spinning 650 RPM or something and augers and they're still alive. Well that one is anyway. Some of them probably got the slappy. Could I get a Sunny Farms in there? Watch out the ears. <laughs> He was just a hired hand Working on the dreams he planned to try The days go by Come down off your road And leave your body alone Somebody must change You are the reason I've waited Go time. <laughs> Calm down, son. Mm -hmm. So that was actually quite a bit of fun. Uh, that that was Claire Dunn. She's from Colorado. She's been, I think, in Nashville the last 10 years, but she played really well. A couple neighbors came down. It's a fun time. Did you know where they're headed next? Yeah, this will do farm out in Iowa. Yep. Hopefully the beans are a little better, ready to go. They weren't cracking open like we'd like. Sun came out for a second, and we're gonna try to see if we can clean up the tank a little bit and keep going. Yeah, look how tough. I mean, it's not grinding the stalks. There's some moisture in them. Yeah, this thing, what you like to see is these green ones, or at least the elevator when you take them in, they don't like that. But you know, these beans are dry. If we wait longer, they get drier, we lose money. We're gonna let things dry up a little bit more. Hopefully that sun starts to poke out. Uh, we're low on hydraulic fluid, so we're gonna grab some of that. This is the same cow, she got out again. Hey, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, 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 hey. This morning we put her in this pen. And so she must have hopped over that gate or something. <laughs> Can't believe it. Let's go give it a try, huh? That one was a little suspicious. So you can watch that. Moving in. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Here we go. Maybe. Sometime. Eventually. A couple minutes. A couple seconds. Now. Right. Now. Three. Two. And just in case nobody's given us crap yet about our red trailer for all of our green equipment. We bought that last year. Assumed it'd be green. It was not. It was red. What the heck? Looks so tacky with a green head sitting on it.
Next Wednesday is when the brand grain cart that we're supposed to be demoing this season should be showing up. There's a lot of sweet features that thing will have above and beyond just being bigger than this current grain cart. Always enjoy trying something new. This seems to be going well. The semi is about two thirds full. We'll take it into town and then we'll see what they get for moisture. Should be similar to what our combine's reading. Definitely not worried about it being too wet. It's, it's, it's on the dry side for sure. Now well, we're getting some field done. Okay, okay. He's gonna take a load to town. We're gonna keep harvesting. Those beans look all right. Average moisture is 11%, so that's that's dry. But if you look in the back. Still see some green pods. Not ideal, but what do you do? Wait another couple days and let the beans get to nine percent. That's uh, all those, all those percentage points underneath thirteen. You know your beans weigh less. You're selling less, selling less weight, but it's water weight, and the elevator doesn't give you more money. Like oh, it's denser. No, no, you don't get paid extra for drier, drier beans. You just. You only get paid less when you have really wet beans. The colors on the yield map were kind of bumming me out. You know, we had a drought, yield's not very great. So I, so I changed the legend to where lower yield makes green colors, happy colors is what I like to call them. So now the map looks a little better. If you didn't know, this is the magical button. I just remembered my mom is visiting my grandma tonight. So I'm gonna have to either cook, or we're gonna have to find some food, I don't know. Borrow some from Ellie. That's a pretty quick meal right there. Say hello. Hello. I got the cold. You got the COVID? No, I don't got the COVID. I got the allergy. We're running out of dry beans. You can see there's a lot of yellow in there. We're just trying to fill this semi. It's two thirds full and then we'll get out of here. Start that truck for me so it's charged up when I go. Okay. Up. Down. Up. About three quarter of that field done. Not a very successful day, but we started. Thanks for watching today, guys. Got some beans done. Conditions weren't perfect. I'd say the highlight of the day was hanging out with some neighbors and listening to Claire Dunn sing some songs. It was a good time. There will be a link below if you want to check out more of her stuff. She's on Spotify, I know, and probably all sorts of places. Anyway, we appreciate you hanging out with us. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Fresh.